Hi. Now coming to the next question. Very frequently asked next question is coracoid process. It is coracoid process. Now what do you mean by the word coracoid? Yes? Can anyone tell what you mean by coracoid? Crow's beak. Yeah, that's right. So coracoid means it is crow's beak. It is the beak of a crow. Now you know crow is the vehicle for Lord Shani. You understand? Lord Shani is traveling on this crow. Okay? So this is crow's beak. Now this is very frequently asked why? Because it is a classical example of atavistic epiphysis. So the coracoid process is a very classical example of atavistic epiphysis and that's why we are going to ask this question again and again. Now you may ask what is atavistic epiphysis? Now atavistic epiphysis is nothing but a bone which had lost its individual identity. It lost its individual identity and it had merged with another bone. It had fused with another bone. If you take the lower animals, scapula and coracoids, they are two different bones. But in humans, over the period of, or over the phylogenetic, phylogenic evolution, so it had lost its individual identity. The coracoid process had lost its individual identity. It had come and stuck to the scapula. As a result of which, you take it as one element. Now, scapula is the one bone which is having a coracoid process, acromion process. So that's why we ask about this coracoid process. This process has got a tip which is giving attachment to the muscles. That is the medial part of the tip is giving attachment to coracobrachialis and the lateral part is giving attachment to the lateral part of the tip is giving attachment to short head of biceps. To the short head of biceps and coracobrachialis, you know, these muscles, they are uh, attached to the tip and if you take uh, the superior surface, the superior surface and the medial border, the superior surface and the medial border, they are giving insertion to pectoralis minor. This is the pectoralis minor, which is getting its insertion into the coracoid process. And that is the superior surface and the medial border of it. And here if you take the coracobrachialis and the short head of biceps, they are originating from the medial portion of the tip and lateral half of the tip. Okay? Thank you.